it's 2024 and it's a new year most people have fitness goals in their new years people want to start new habits like going to the gym achieving their fitness goals this year as well as a lot of things this life habit changes usually start with the new year and so if this is 2024 and one of your main goal is to become a gym body and really have a go at building your dream body this video is for you now people always start the year out in january saying oh i want to gain weight i want to lose weight i want to sculpt my body in the right way you know I'm, i have a lot of conversations with people and they tell me these things sometimes they tell me oh people say they want to add weight oh they want to build a certain type of body archetype and somebody else might say oh they want to lose weight or somebody might say oh i want to build muscle you know whatever your body goal is all are valid and it's always it usually starts with the new year what are the first steps i think the first step is to understand your why why do you want to start going to the gym what is the intrinsic value that this is activity is going to bring to you how does it feed your growth it has to be a strong intrinsic value because if not you'll be like most people that start every year with it and then don't keep up with it and give up if you want to win at it and if you want to stay consistent you need to get a why the why is the most important thing my own was in 2021 i visited the therapist, the doctors, the therapist told me fitness, health and fitness in any sort was a great way to take care of my mental health, I was taking care of myself. My personal doctor also told me the same thing and so it was, it was just like a straight path for me to start and so my intrinsic value is this is a form of self-care like I used to have mental health issues like I've said before in this channel but when I started gymming and working out, it has become a lot better. It's not like it's, it's gone, but it's, it's become a lot better. I'm coping a lot with it. Gym is a very good way to cope with mental stress. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a good way to cope with mental stress. The doctors told me, the experts told me, I researched it, it aligned, I'm doing it, and it's true. Right? And that is my intrinsic value. That's what keeps me going because when I go, I feel like I'm taking care of myself. I know how bad my mental health can get. And so I have to take care of myself. I have to take I have to take care of myself. That's why it feels like going to the gym is a non-negotiable for me. And that is the underlying, that's the foundation, your why. I mean, you know, it has to be a strong thing that would drive you. It has to be very strong that would drive you. And that one was pretty strong for me. It drives me. So I'm cool with it. You have to find your own why that's strong and that drives you. That's cool with it. And so number two. You now have to get your kit, get your fit, get your kit, get your registration, pay your gym subscription. You don't need to overcomplicate it at the beginning because if you overcomplicate it, you'll be overwhelmed. And if you're overwhelmed, you're gonna stop. That's the truth. Most people are overwhelmed in the gym when they first start. Starters are overwhelmed. I was lucky enough to have a friend at the time that had been gymming for years, so I just joined. So two of us just he had quit for like two years, but then wanted to restart, and so I just joined him, and then you know he showed me around but if you are not of that you know if you don't not lucky enough to have a friend that's going almost the same time every time with you you might want to just keep it simple do not start complex this is what overwhelms people and make them quit it get a simple gym gym wear if you can't get a simple gym wear just just wear whatever you can um what you wear to the gym isn't that important but if it makes you feel good you can invest in it um i do not recommend you start out the gym buying supplements it complicates it but if that's what you want to do i just don't recommend it <laughs> you understand and um i think uh what else uh yeah just pay the gym membership and if you can't pay for a trainer the trainer usually will give you that beginning yeah so but if you cannot pay for a trainer once again don't overcomplicate it because it is from your why that you get here so here is now what is your motivation for me i was trying to make it a part of a lifestyle and if you make it a part of a lifestyle you, where are you running to <laughs> like where are you forcing yourself to grow with it it grows and it's time it takes time to grow but if you want results today 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 I, you know it's possible but it will take time and a lot of your money right but i wanted it to be part of my lifestyle i knew that 10 years from now, I still want to be going to the gym actively. 20 years, 50 years, I still want to be going to the gym actively. It's something that wants to be a part of me. And so I was not in a hurry. So I recommend Atomic Habits by James Clare. 
that was a good book that you know teaches people how to start new habits or drop bad habits and one of the ways that he talks about is just showing up because the most the most important thing is is just the consistency it's the showing up is the reaffirming the new identity that you are a gym body just show up i think when i first started i didn't even have a gym plan i didn't even you know i didn't even have anything i just knew that people like everybody told me you know the the gym was a good place for self-development and to help my my mental health so i just showed up like sometimes i'll just come to the gym climb stair master do treadmill just go and lift dumbbells i don't know what i'm doing i mean yes that like i didn't overcomplicate I used to see people do all these complex exercises with position and all this stuff. i just didn't pay attention to it right i you know you want to you want to start out with a bang to feel like you are you know really going at it but you will get overwhelmed especially if you're new so to counter that overwhelming feeling i just think just show up just come to the gym come to the gym climb the stair master it's usually it's stair master or treadmill or you do cycling you just do something simple right then you know the third thing is from there from there you start to have a program you choose a split upper body lower body cardio you know i do the ppl i do the push pull legs and abs split which is push which is your chest your shoulders and your triceps and uh, the pull is your back and your biceps and um the legs is your legs and your abs so you just walk on your legs and your abs and that is what i've always done since i picked a split whatever works for you you can do the research online there are different splits that works um but i that's what i do and that's what works for me these are the three main steps that you should take through you should you should take through to if you want to start the gym the most important thing once again is to always show up that's the uh if you have um a very tight schedule I've had tight schedules. I've had work that kept me till eight, nine. I've had um, study plus going to work. I still went to the gym. I, I, it's like eating. You can't make an excuse for eating, right? Like you can't make an excuse for not eating. So why do you want to make an excuse for gym? But that again boils down to your why. You know, if your why is strong enough, you always find enough reason to go there. Um, times I've traveled, came back that same day as I was coming back, I was going straight to the gym, bro. Sometimes I didn't even pack gym wear. I'm on my casual. Like, I, I'll still go to the gym. I still want to work out my muscles and, you know, you know, make my stress relieving system down because I'm an overthinker and boy, oh boy, it gets really complicated. <laughs> okay. I have to, you know, make a conscious effort to make sure something is equalizing that overthinking and not tipping me towards the you know too much negative side and my systems and my new ha my habits that i've cultivated over the last two three years have tipped that balance so now you know everything's a lot more balanced in my head and gymming is one of those things that can really balance you out um running too is one of them but yeah gymming and running is one of the, the the key things yeah so um yeah that's what it is i think these are the very very important things thank you guys for watching this video like comment subscribe to the channel thanks and god bless